Good morning, fifth graders. Today you are on page 119 of your student journal, and we are on lesson eight. Okay, our objective for today, or our goal for the day is, today I will move on a coordinate plane. So, so far that should sound really familiar because we've done that for two days. But now here's where it's gonna get a little changed up. Using cardinal directions. So here's where something new is coming in. This thing called cardinal directions. Okay, so let's look at our vocabulary and we notice a lot of things that we've been practicing and then when we come all the way down here, we see something new that we haven't seen before. We see something called a compass rose. So let's read this. Compass rose shows cardinal directions on a map or a coordinate plane. So when we talk about cardinal directions, here's our cardinal directions, right here. So in the past two lessons, we've been using directions such as left, right, up, down. These are cardinal directions. Okay, so this is what we're going to be practicing today, words like north, south, west, and east. Now, maybe from when you were younger, you remember a quick way to remember these. There's lots of different ways. I always was taught that you go clockwise, which means this direction, and I always said, never eat sour watermelon. I've also heard some people say, never eat shredded wheat. I've heard people say, never eat soggy waffles. So it doesn't matter how you remember it, but you do need to know the order of these. Okay. So our steps today are going to be very similar to what we've been doing. Okay, it says determine the first point. Um, we are going to make sure that we're making our points like we did in the last two. Making points or make the point in case they give us the picture. Okay, um, we are going to be doing also what we had done, we, that we're going to be label are one and two. And then something else that I think will help us on this one that you want to maybe get in the habit of is just writing never eat sour watermelon on your graph. So I think if you take the time to write that, you'll make less mistakes. Okay, so I never want to give you extra work. I just want to help prevent you from doing some silly mistakes. Okay, so what does this actually look like? Okay, because our, our, the rest of our steps are going to be very similar. I might have wanted to underline that we're going to be using words like west and east and north and south this time instead of left, right, up, down. Okay, so I'm grabbing my red pen if you want to set down your pencil. So here's my first problem. Okay, Christina is at the coffee house. To get to the bagel shop, she needs to go three blocks east and four blocks north. What is the location of the bagel shop? Okay, so a few things I would do before I even start is I'm gonna make my point, because remember that's where the coffee shop actually is. And then something else that I think might prevent me from making mistakes is I'm gonna label, never eat sour watermelon. If I have that on my paper, I might make less mistakes that I so I can just refer to that to help me. Okay, so it says Christina's at the coffee house, so here's her first spot, and she wants to get to the bagel shop, so that's going to be her second location. It tells me she needs to go three blocks east. So east is here, so she needs to go one, two, three east, and then she needs to go four blocks north. One, because north is here, two, three, four. And that is where her bagel shop should be. So they wanna know what is the location. So that means they want the ordered pair 
and our ordered pairs are our x, y. So my x is 5 and my y is 9. So my answer is 5, 9. Okay, let's see another one of those. Okay, so my next one says, if the library is located two blocks west and three blocks north of the church, where is the church located? Okay, so this one's a little tricky um, because they say if the library is two blocks west and three blocks north. Let's see why this one's a little tricky. Okay, so if I look at this picture, um, it looks like there's supposed to be someone reading. So this is my this is my library, and they obviously they also are asking where the church is. So I know that that's the library. Okay, let's get our point and let's get our never eat sour watermelons marked, so I can refer back to those if I need that. Okay, now. They tell me the library is two blocks west of the church. So the reason this is a little tricky is I'm going to show you this in pencil first, and then we're going to kind of make some adjustments. So if I was to follow this and say two blocks west, so I'm going to start here and go one, two west, I'll do it kind of dark so you can see it, and three north, one, two, three north. This is where I would end up. But now let's read that and see if that makes sense. Because it says the library is two blocks west. Well, if I'm saying the church is here, is the library really west of the church or isn't the library really east of the church? Oh, do you see the problem there? And then let's read this again. If the library is located three blocks north of the church. Wait, is the library north of the church or south of the church? Oh, are you seeing where this is so tricky? This one's tricky because what they did is they gave me the second location first. So they told me where the library is to the church. So the church was really my first spot and they told me how to get to the library. That's why this one's so tricky because they gave me directions from the church to the library. So Think about if you were to walk somewhere and then you were trying to give directions back, you have to do the opposite directions. So what I'm gonna have to do here is because I realize that the church was my first location and the library was my second location, they told me how to get from the church to the library. So now I need to backtrack, I need to go backwards. So instead of going two blocks west, I'm gonna go two blocks east. I'm gonna go the opposite to get back to where I was. Instead of going three blocks north, I'm gonna go three blocks south. One, two, three. And this is where my church is. Now let's see if that makes sense. Let's see if this one now works. This says the, the library is located west. Is the library west of my church? Yes, because here's my church and here's my library, so it's on the west side. And then it says the library is located north of the church. Is my library north of the church? Yes. So these ones you're gonna have to be very careful of when it sounds like they gave you the directions and they want to know where you started at. So my question says, where is the church located? So what is my X and my Y for my church? Well, my X is 10 and my Y is two. Okay, if you're feeling a little worried about those, don't worry, we'll practice them together. Okay, so we're gonna turn to page 120. 
And let's try this first one. Cindy is at the cinema. Okay, another word for cinema is a movie theater. So Cindy is at the cinema. To get to the candy shop, she needs to go four blocks west and three blocks south. What is the location of the candy shop? Okay, so let's think about that tricky one we just did. They told me where I was and they want to know where I started at. But here they told me she's at the cinema. So I know that the cinema is my first spot. And they're telling her how to get to the candy shop. Okay, so this is our first spot. Let's locate never eat sour watermelons. Okay, and they're telling us to get to the candy shop, she needs to go four blocks west. So she's gonna start here and go four west. One, two, three, four. And she needs to go three blocks south. One, two, three. And this is where the candy shop should be. So what is the location of the candy shop? What is our X and our Y? Well, our X is three and our Y is three. So there's our candy shop. Okay, now let's move on to one of those trickier ones. If the coffee shop is three blocks east and four blocks south of the baker, where is the baker located? Okay, so they're telling us where the coffee shop is from the bakers, but we don't know where the bakers was. So this is that tricky one where they told us how they got from the baker to the coffee shop, but we need to backtrack and go back to the baker. So we need to do some opposite directions. So it says, if the coffee shop, coffee shop is three blocks east, okay, I'm gonna first label, sorry, I forgot that. So if the coffee shop is three blocks east, I'm gonna actually go west, because I'm gonna go backwards to get where I was. One, two, three west. And four blocks south, which means I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, north. And I think that's where the baker was. Now, a good way to check this is then to check this and see, is the coffee, it says the coffee shop is east. Is the coffee shop on the east side of this? Yep. And it says the coffee shop is south of the baker. Is the coffee shop south of where the baker, I think, is? Yes. So when you're doing these, it's a good way, good idea to go back and read it and see if when you check it, it makes sense. So we think that's where the baker is, and they want to know what our coordinates of the baker is. So my baker's X is 3, and my baker's Y is 8. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, you are going to be turning the page, and today you are only going to be trying page 121. Have a nice day.